Good evening. I'm here with my Wandering Camel IPA from Barkerville Brewing. Gonna do great speeches by Native American chiefs. Number two. This is Powhatan. Wahusanakak. Now you guys know who this is. Powhatan, 1147 to 1618. He was the head of a confederacy that spanned hundreds of miles and 32 tribes. He's well known today because of his favorite daughter, Pocahontas, who rescued the English captain John Smith from execution in 1608. In 1607, Powhatan's confederacy allowed the English to establish their first colony at Jamestown. In 1609, when the same Captain Smith, dissatisfied with trade negotiations, resorted to bluster and threats, Pocahontas' dad made the following reply. I am now grown old and soon must die, and the succession must descend in order to my brothers, a Pichapan, a Pacacano, and Katata, and then to my two sisters and their two daughters. I wish their experience was equal to mine and that your love to us might not be less than ours to you. Why should you take by force that from us which you can have by love? Why should you destroy us who have provided you with food? What can you get by war? We can hide our provisions and fly into the woods, and then you must consequently famish by wronging your friends. What is the cause of your jealousy? You see us unarmed and willing to supply your wants if you will come in a friendly manner and not with swords and guns, as to invade an enemy. I am not so simple as to not know it is better to eat good meat, lie well, and sleep quietly with my women and children, to laugh and be merry with the English, and being their friend to have copper, hatchets, and whatever else I want, than to fly from all, to lie cold in the woods, feed upon acorns, roots, and such trash, and to be hunted, that I cannot rest, eat, or sleep. In such circumstances, my men must watch, and if a twig should but break, all would cry out, Here comes Captain Smith. And so, in this miserable manner, to end my miserable life, and Captain Smith, this might soon be your fate too. Through your rashness and unadvisedness, I therefore exhort you to peaceable counsels, and above all, I insist that the guns and swords, the cause of all our jealousy and uneasiness, be removed and sent away.